For Flight Simulator 2020, it's the question of the ages. Will I be able to find my house? Well, that isn't an obvious question to answer for a lot of different reasons, but in this video, I'm going to get as close as we possibly can get to finding an answer. So the most difficult part about knowing up front before release whether or not your house will be present in the new Microsoft Flight Simulator, well it's an obvious point, everyone lives in a different place, a different type of environment, whether it's a city, a remote countryside or even at the depths of a desert. Basically this means that no one can tell everyone if their house will be fully represented. And secondly, those who have access to the beta build cannot answer this question due to the NDA. Fortunately though, it is possible to take an educated guess thanks to Bing Maps, and Flight Simulator 2020's publicly available promo material such as screenshots and videos that Microsoft themselves have released. So let's jump in and take a look at that. Firstly, let's also talk very briefly about how Flight Simulator generates its towns, cities and villages. Now I have talked about this before, so I'll be going over some old ground here, but not everyone will be aware of this, but either way, stay with me as I will keep it very short. Flight Simulator will install all the world's scenery onto your hard drive when you download the sim. The quality of this scenery will be set to a specific level. Improved levels of scenery will be streamed to your PC via the internet. The data processing to calculate this scenery, these buildings and all the rest of it, takes place on Microsoft's Azure Cloud Computing. A huge chunk of all this information comes from Bing Maps, and this includes satellite data, aerial photography and other such data. All combined, this creates the world in which the sim takes place. Out of the box, it's easily going to be the most detailed flight sim ever released, and the videos and screenshots Microsoft have all shown off are a testament to that. Now, to get a glimpse of how this all works, we can jump into the Maps app in Windows 10, which is using much of the same data that Flight Simulator 2020 will be using. Let's start out at Manhattan in New York. Here we have a fully featured 3D city, which is a complete match for the real world location. Microsoft call this a bird's eye view, and it uses a technique called photogrammetry to generate. If you look elsewhere in the Maps app, we can find a list of all the 3D locations that exist within the app. The vast majority of these 3D cities and towns are all located in the US. In here, we literally have hundreds of locations that have been recreated in 3D. Outside of the US, there are also plenty of 3D locations, including in South America, Canada, and many places in Europe and Australia, as well as, of course, the rest of the world. On screen, you can see some screenshots I've collected from the official Flight Simulator 2020 promo material. Most of these screenshots have been taken in cities that have full 3D mapping data. We know from uh, Microsoft's released videos that places such as New York look awesome. We also know that places outside of the US also look very good. Copenhagen, for example, has 3D data. Now, to get an idea as to whether everyone's house is going to appear in Flight Simulator 2020, I took some time to compare th uh, Bing Maps to the official screenshots. In the cases of cities and towns where 3D data is available, as best as I can tell at least, every house on the satellite imagery is also represented accurately in Flight Simulator. The same is true for many other locations. Here, for example, is Florence. Now, if you want to check this out for yourself, there's a good tool to help out. The website I'm showing on the screen right now lists the locations of many of the Flight Simulator screenshots. All you have to do is take a look at the screenshots and then find the locations on Bing Maps and make a comparison. They are impressively accurate. If you live in any of these towns and cities then that have 3D data, it's almost guaranteed that you will be able to find your house and that it will be accurately represented. Although, of course, if this accuracy extends all the way down to ground level, it is anyone's guess. Uh, aerial photography is a little bit different, but for a list of all the 3D locations, do check out the Windows 10 map app. Now, unfortunately, not all locations in the world have full 3D bird's eye view data on Bing Maps. Many of the locations instead have flat satellite or aerial photography. In many locations, these occasions, this is very high resolution imagery, but in other locations, the resolution is far lower. In either event, in places such as this, 
and the techniques are used to recreate them. Amongst other things, this includes Flight Simulator using AI to rebuild the towns and cities from flat layer data. Now here's the thing, it's very hard to find examples of such locations on the promo screenshots and footage. Many of these locations that Microsoft have shown off all come from full 3D detailed locations. Any locations that Flight Simulator have used without real world 3D data for the most part have been taken at a distance rather than close up. I did however manage to find a few close up locations of flat real world data or flat real world satellite imageries. Here then is Bucharest. On Bing Maps this doesn't have 3D data However, you can see that Flight Simulator has done a remarkable job of recreating it. However, there are a few areas where it's not entirely accurate. Down on the bottom corner of the screenshot, we can see a building that has been incorrectly modelled, for example. So, if you were to live in this specific building, the building would be present in Flight Simulator, but it wouldn't be entirely accurate. Another area I found is Waterloo Lake in Leeds, England. Again, this doesn't have real-world 3D data on Bing Maps, so it's entirely flat on there. In Flight Simulator, however, it has had to most likely at least recreate it. Again, as with Bucharest, it looks fantastic. Very, very stunning uh, locations here, but unfortunately it's not 100% accurate. Taking a look down at the cluster of buildings over here, we can see that the aerial photography shows this as a group of houses. In Flight Simulator, however, the sim has interpreted this as a single or larger building. In this case, if you were to live in one of these houses, then your house would not be in the sim. Of course, do keep in mind that all of these screenshots that Microsoft have published are not from the final build, so some things will no doubt have changed and improved. But it seems reasonable to assume that we can take this as a general rule. That is, locations with 3D data will be extremely accurate in Flight Simulator, However, locations without real-world 3D data will be less accurate. And again, that's just an assumption based on comparing the screenshots that Microsoft themselves have released with the data available on Bing Maps. The bottom line though, will your house be available in Flight Simulator 2020? Well, the best guess we can get based upon all this publicly available information is that it really depends on where you live. Meanwhile, it's worth pointing out that screenshots Microsoft have released show a number of handcrafted 3D buildings. These are often famous iconic buildings. And an example of this is Chateau de Chambord, which has, oh, which we can see here, and it has an amazing 3D model in the sim. However, from what I could tell, it doesn't seem to have a 3D model on Bing Maps. So that speculative rule I mentioned just now, well, it's not a hard and fast rule. The only way you'll know for sure is to get out there into the world and explore. Also, Bing Maps is continuously evolving. In the past few months alone, Bing Maps team have added 80,000 square kilometers of new 3D bird's eye locations. And if it turns out that this data is actually imported at a regular basis into Flight Simulator 2020, then the sim is going to be continuously evolving and growing. Ultimately, regardless of whether every location in the world is 100% accurate, the fact remains that Flight Simulator is a stunning looking sim. It's truly next gen in so many ways. Right out of the box, it will have literally hundreds of towns, cities and locations that are fully accurate to the real world. No other sim can lay claim to anything even remotely close. Everything we've been shown so far shows that the sim will be seriously impressive. As always with these things though, the proof of the pudding will be when people get their hands on experience. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.